How's it going people, Jack here with another Genshin video, so today we'll be checking out update 3.1 and first I gotta thank you all for the amazing feedback from the last video because you know as a mainly react tuber it's kind of difficult to gauge whether or not my rambling is uh, at times relevant and or if the commentary that I gave maybe just a little bit too niche for some to enjoy so it was nice to know that uh, what I said actually it was important for you. But with that said, we have here a trailer called King Deshret and the tree Maggie. I suppose that's Maggie, like the anime. Or is it Magi, like the Egyptian gods who are supposed to take care of the people? Anyways, let's check it out. I had the same question every time I walked this way when I was a kid. Why is this high wall here? And can a wall really block sandstorms? It was only after I grew up that I realized it serves a more important purpose, keeping out people like us. Wow. We've waited a long time for this day to come. Fate has finally dealt me a hand to play against the Academia. Uh, we're dealing with the goddess of knowledge, you so... Think the resurrection of the Scarlet King can truly change Sumeru for the better? The resurrection of the Scarlet King will only result in war. And war serves no one. <laughs> a shield is not enough to protect the most important things. Okay, they are Magi. That's why I must also wield a spear. Candice. Well, th that name is fitting with the environment. Do your worst. Grant us your blessing. Cool. Betrayed Aru Village. Don't do anything until I've gotten to the bottom of this. Try oh. something foolish, and even Candace won't be able to protect you. You know, Judicator. Oh my God, it's literally Kid Anubis. <laughs> Whoa! Through me, justice is served. Happy, we should speak up and let our voices be heard. Nidu, the dancer. Okay. Positions. Huh. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> ha! All eyes on me. Life for the Desert Dwellers has been brutal ever since the Scarlet King's death all those years ago. Feelings of desperation are widespread. Traitors are what us followers of the Scarlet King despise the most. One of us could be secretly revealing our whereabouts to the Academia. I like this change in music. Fitting the character. She looks very like uh, metal. Answer me this. Did the sages share any information about their project with you? We're cheap labor. Livestock, but easier to control. <laughs> Nothing more. Damn. <laughs> My experiment is a success. And now it seems they can no longer hold back their sheer adoration. Oh no. <laughs> there is no need to fear. A new villain. The pain will be brief. Your era is coming to an end. Uh oh, Raiden Shogun, what have you done this time? <laughs> I am Mika, surveyor of the Reconnaissance Company. I will now be reading Grandmaster Varka's letter aloud for you all. With confidence, Does boy. Does this mean the Grandmaster knew Razor's parents? Fill up the barrels and store them away. Then wait, <laughs> wait for a windier day. Mixologist. Wax the bottles, seal them tight. For the south wind that soothes, for the north wind that bites. <laughs> <laughs> Dear friends, let us now open the wines. 
to the Animal Archon. Many of you had asked me to check out Dory's、um, Japanese VA, and <laughs> she sounds a lot better. What? Not to say that the other one isn't good, but I, I like this one more. But also because it reminds me of the voice actress of Luffy in One Piece. But、um, <laughs> because we saw Diona before, or is it Diona? Yeah, Diona.、Uh, I believe the pronunciation is、uh, a bit off. I know.、Um, <laughs> her and her wine. I, I just imagine the meeting between those two is like the worst thing ever, or perhaps the best thing ever. And by the way, if you're wondering what happened to my fingers, I've been doing a little bit of、uh, climbing training. And no, I am not training to be able to climb on top of mountain ranges like you do in Genshin Impact, okay? And if I even ever wanted to do that, I would like to trade with Ganyu's mountain goat ability to just run on top of those mountain sides. The actual reason is that、uh, after watching the show Physical Hundred, obviously as a gym bro, I、uh, wanted to train my grip, so some stuff went wrong through that. But、uh, it's fine. Anyways, we have the next one. Here on, I suppose is Sino. So、uh, let's check it out. Then it's agreed. You ensure my personal safety, and I will share the research materials with you. All this fuss just over some risky research. What are you so scared of? Listen, you don't understand. The academia makes no compromises to ensure that knowledge is used correctly. They have dedicated officers to keep tabs on all the scholars. They call them Matra. Okay. And their leader, the General Maha Matra, is the most fearsome among them. Once he has you in his sights, he won't stop until he's hunted you down. <laughs> Just like Anubis. Cut it out! You're giving me the creeps with your ghost stories. Found you. Uh huh. Oh boy! A kid? Oh no, that's him! Everybody gangster until Naza starts ganking. <laughs> you and your thugs have no idea how much I've sacrificed. Save your energy. It's a long walk back. If you have any final words, save them for Judgment Day. Very fitting. Right now we have Candice. Oh, I want to call her Kandake. I will explain a bit later, but、uh, let's <laughs> check out what is it. Welcome, weary traveler from afar. <sighs> oh. I'd really love to look into your future with my amber eye if I could. Good. <laughs> Nights in the desert are cruel. Damn. Sleep soundly and know that I am watching over you. <laughs> This sounds like something I will find in a club back home. <laughs> <laughs> A shield is not enough to protect the most important things. That's why I must also wield a spear. Hear my prayer. This new strength I now gain in the present is preparing me for trials that lie ahead in the future. So the reason as to why I went with Kantake, not Candice, is that I know I've been doing a lot of these references, but that's literally how I got the knowledge that I have, at least about these things. But in the Book of Acts, in the Bible, we have the mention of、uh, during the time where the apostles were supposedly at least、um, preaching the the, the Lord's word. Uh, they arrived in Ethiopia, or at least were met with some Ethiopian. Where there's a mention of a、uh, Ethiopian royal, a Kandake, because that is what the queens had、uh, as a name back then. They had there was a certain period where they were matriarchal, but yeah, basically that's the name. That's where it comes from. And Candice, I believe, is is it 
Latinized? I don't know. I, I can't say for sure which country invaded Ethiopia at the time. Because unlike many other African countries, uh, Ethiopia, for one, was never colonized. It was occupied by Italy. That's why it's Latinized. But Candice apparently does have the ability of um, what viewing, seeing the future with her amber eye. That's pretty cool. And I like the, uh, yeah, her being a protector of a sort. And now we have Sino. The sands devour, a new life emerges. In the cycle of life and death, whatever is sown will be reaped. Mm. And when the moral order is disrupted, judgment will come swiftly. Every soul will be weighed. Whoa. Oh, the eye moving along. Huh? I vow to uphold the rules and punish evil. No matter how arduous this path may be, I will follow its course to the end. Through me, justice is served. By a moon, the dude is cool. Wow. Transition to electric guitar as well. Wow. Until one day, humanity stands blameless, purged of its transgressions. <laughs> I like the continuous feather motifs because that's the whole thing with uh, Anubis where he would uh, weigh people's hearts in contrast with that of a feather if your if if your deeds were lighter than the feather then you got to the good place <laughs> if not of course you were in eternal damnation all right, story teaser of the lost legacies of sand. Civilization is born of knowledge. But so too can knowledge be its demise. A disaster caught us unaware. It was knowledge that did not belong to this world. Oh. King Deshret brought this forbidden knowledge into our world, and it quickly spread like a plague. People's minds were filled with crazed whispers. Dark gray scales spread across their bodies. Even the land was stripped of its vigor. Only a desperate, deathly silence remained. Were it not for greater Lord Ruka Devata from the forests, the damage would have been irreversible. Oh. She summoned the priests to build temples and infused into them the divine power of life. The disaster was miraculously tempered, and the embers of our civilization were preserved in Aru village. Yeah. Alas, the miracle could not last. As long as forbidden knowledge continued to exist, it would forever blight this world. In the end, the proud king of the desert, my eternal lord, chose to sacrifice himself. I have spent my whole life since guarding one of these many temples. But now, my duty is coming to an end. As I close my eyes for the final time, Wait. the sight of that noble deity will appear in my vision once more. In helping King Deshret to eradicate forbidden knowledge, she exhausted her strength, and her form became that of a small child. Yeah, Sweden. Now that I think, 
I no longer have any fear of death, for I sense that the spirit of life will abide with me during my eternal sleep. Children of the desert, cling no longer to past grievances, but hold tight to the memory of this act of benevolence. Jesus, that was beautiful. I don't know how they managed to do these things. <laughs> it's so well animated. Especially from this point on here. It's something straight out of, of an anime intro. <laughs> wow. Like, of course, she's the one who made everything bloom again. But... Jeez. And you see it fading, turning back to sand. Oh, <laughs> that's so cool. Okay, story teaser, the divine will. It took three betrayals for me to finally understand. The world is just an elaborate tapestry of lies. Uh oh. I'll bite My yet. fury will never be quelled. The first to betray me was a god. My creator. My mother. Puppet? Valuing strength above all. She saw no worth in me and I was discarded. <laughs> the second was a human. My family. My friend. Consumed by fear, he saw me as an abomination. The third was one exactly like me. Oh. A hope for the future. A fledgling barely out of the nest. Don't tell me the child's going to die. Powerless before his mortality? He broke his promise to me. That's not what you take from that. Humans, they can't be trusted. Oh no. And the gods fill me with pure loathing. So I said good riddance. <laughs> I denounce the world and laugh in its face. <laughs> My chest will never again be defiled by worldly filth. I will scrub away every last trace of human emotion. Then it will be empty, a blank slate, and ready to receive a supreme gnosis, brimming with pure divinity. <laughs> Dude, he's laughing like Kira. <laughs> there is no need to fear. The pain will be brief. Your era is coming to an end. Yikes. As I'm watching this, of course, there is a little notice here showing uh, the history of Scaramouche. Wow, okay, that's uh... <laughs> people are going to say that, oh, people, <laughs> the, the, the cheesers are spoiling you. I saw some comments like that before, but the recommendation are already doing that to me. But yeah, I guess I can uh, sing the Queen song. Scaramouche, Scaramouche would have played a fandango. I swear to God, if he's actually just like that. Because the story of Scaramouche was that of a... Uh, well, wow, actually, it's so fitting. It was turned into a puppet show later on. It, well, essentially, he was a mockery of... Uh, depending on what point of view you watch it from. If it's the English theatre, it was a mockery of the Italian theatre. But the Italian theatre introduced him as being like a um, a clown of a sort. Uh, not, not a jester, but just a clown who would always commit like acts that would get everybody but him in trouble. So uh, yeah, he's not exactly considerate of the situation that he puts other people into. But he may be that he has a tragic story himself. It's like a cutscene from one of the quest endings. The wind is here. Oh, 
venti, not saying a word. Oh, okay. Take this, crush it, and place it on the fracture. Listen, Missy. Promise me you'll live on. Who? The voice sounds familiar. Hey! This Captain! Is where you must stay. You are our only hope. Forgive me, Kaya. <laughs> oh, that's the dad of, um, oh my god, the red haired guy. Very good. That's why. Yeah, I, I'm sorry for pausing here, but as some of you have pointed out, and I realize it's a bit too late, I thought for some reason that within the Hoyo verse only Honkai had uh, mangas. Uh, so yeah, I read uh, the the manga for that because that's a lot easier to consume than uh, playing through the entire game. But yeah, his father's death was sad. I will always be proud of you. <sighs> After all the time we spent on it, the wine still isn't ready. <laughs> May as well leave it for our son. Razor. Aww. What do you think of that name? Oh, an adventurer's name. Yes, I like it. Razor? Wind carries the souls of lost, <laughs> lost ones. Hmm. That's cute. Venti out here being malicious and stuff. <laughs> All right, and Nilu finally dancing grace. To me, Zubair Theater is a home away from home. Cheers! Cheers! Anime food, always so appetizing. How are the props? I did some fixes and touch-ups. Oh, they were great! Thank you so much, Miss Nadia. <sighs> it's over. Now I don't have to hear Mr. Zubair yelling at me every day. Hmm. Oh, he's just a worry ward is all. Don't lose heart. Everyone loved your performance. Treats? I can barely lift you anymore. Every Imagine actually naming your dog Buster. Full of bliss. It's your movement. What? You're still Let's not go. getting it. <laughs> All right. Okay. Sorry. I'm trying. Finally, we're done. Okay. Without everyone's tireless efforts, this special place wouldn't exist. I always wish this show could last a little longer. to watch our performance so uh this was different i was halfway expecting like a tonal shift because that's what the genshin trailers or teasers have been doing so far but uh not this one it was just wholesome uh nilu is just chilling great <laughs> miss nilu will you teach me the dance you came up with in the desert <laughs> slow down First, close your eyes and relax your body. Then, picture an oasis bathed in starlight. Okay. Now imagine that you are the water, clear and bright, just like jelly. 
To the world, you're invisible. It never stops to notice you. So you stand up, you leap and twirl, and you show them through dance. Dance of Lotus Light. <laughs> I like how she has to fight a mushroom. A captivating dance is like water about to boil. Quiet whispers grow into a chorus of cheers. To make ripples in your audience's hearts. You have to make a big splash. Dance with the waves! Nice. Wow. <laughs> Pretty amazing, huh? Nilu? Mm -hmm. Do you know where the ribbon for tomorrow's performance went? Uh, sure do. I was practicing with it in the desert. Oh. I'll, I'll work something out. Nilu's like, oh, I'm not about that drama. <laughs> you can keep that and your violence to yourself. I'm old here, just do a job. I gotta dance, so... <laughs> Fuck y'all! <laughs> I'm just gonna be wholesome. <laughs> I, I'm I'm sorry, but this is just so uh, different. All right, now we have to do with Nahida, the goddess herself. Let's go, or oh, the the new Archon. When I woke up, I was riding in a flower carriage. Oh. I just had a dream. I dreamed it was my birthday. In the dream, the Knight of Flowers and his retainers found me. Okay. Oh, Archon, we finally found you. The people can't wait to meet you. The Subzerus Festival began, and everyone smiled as they gathered around me. <sighs> finally, I got back on the carriage and waved goodbye. When I woke up, I was riding in a flower carriage. Uh... I just had a dream. I dreamed it was my birthday. In the dream, the Knight of Flowers and his retainers found me. Okay. Oh, Arkham, oh! we finally found you. No. The people can't wait to meet you. No. The Subzerus Festival began. No. Everyone smiled as they gathered around me. I don't like where this is going. Finally, I got back on the carriage and waved goodbye. God fucking damn it. I knew it. I was waiting for that shifting sound. Because they, they mentioned that in the previous teasers, right? She had to be saved from the cycle. <sighs> okay, let's keep watching. When I woke up, I was riding in the flower carriage. Oh no. I just had a dream. I dreamed it was my birthday. In the dream, the knight of flowers and his retainers found me. Oh, Use like a bloody coming. object. We finally found you. The people can't wait to meet you. The Subzerus Festival began, and everyone smiled as they gathered around me. Oh no. Finally, I got back on the carriage and waved goodbye. <sighs> when I woke up, I was riding in a flower carriage. It was... It was my birthday. Happy birthday, Nahida. Jesus fucking... Oh. <laughs> okay, this is making me mad. I don't... I, I don't like seeing stuff like this. I hate... 
I hate loops. If there's one concept in literature and or cinema that I really dislike is that of time loops, the, like the unbreakable cycles of things. And also like how Nilu was like, I wish that the show could last a little bit longer. Nahida on the other hand, um, I think that somebody pushed on loop on my goddamn playlist and I've been listening to Despacito since 2017 and I really don't like what I'm hearing. <laughs> Jeez, the poor thing. Okay, she's just... Two, one. Oh, she's in her dream, I suppose. Physic of purity. Well, yeah, she's pure of heart, that's for sure. It's like having all the kids in school having to sing like for the school choir or something. And then <laughs> the guy recording goes like, okay, so uh, there's a remix button here. Can I push that? It sounds really good. Yeah, it was nothing but a simulation. Okay, so somebody sent me a link the other day of a Game Theory video on about Paimon. And essentially it was because I was joking a little bit about Zhongli and all of those archons and how um, they are essentially just suppressing their abilities. And especially now with Nahida, that's very obvious. But supposedly, uh, Paimon should have had the same thing, that she is also suppressed power. So she could be a grown-ass woman in now a child's body, which would explain her appetite and metabolism. She always wants to eat something. But boy, also gotta give props to um, the, the team at uh, Mihoyo in the way that they write the story, from the previous teaser at least. Uh, not at least, don't get me wrong with that one, but specifically with that. Because um, I suppose that many of you who are watching this are also like anime fans, and if you know the, the biggest anime right now, One Piece, and One Piece writer Ichiro Oda has a mechanic in the manga and or anime called um, Haki. One of them is the perception, oh yeah, perception Haki, Jesus. Observation hacky. Wow, uh, it's been it's been a moment, um, but uh, it allows a person to like uh, predetermine stuff like uh, future vision, and we jokingly would say that he has that to an extreme level because of how he foreshadows his story, and I see like traces of that here as well in Genshin with the things that have been teased for a long time that they. I suppose had a reason to have there for that time and now we are seeing those things come to fruition. Now our second to last one, the first sage of war. Oof. 
bodying the traveler. Okay. Uh, I suppose that he's not going to, right? This is supposed to be a battle between gods, yet you choose to hide behind a mortal. And now, you're acting like you'd sacrifice yourself for a human. Are you having fun proving a false sense of heroism to yourself, Boor? Ah, <laughs> we go. I've seen that so much. Huh? Do you even know how many times you've tried to take my gnosis from me? Oh, dude, you got trapped in the matrix in a kindred state. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry for that reference. We wow. just concluded the 168th loop. <gasps> Did you know that in the effort to create you? The people of Sumeru were forced to live through the exact same number of Subzerus festivals and Samsara cycles. Wow. The power of dreams. When did you use it on me? She's badass. <laughs> you can't even defeat me in a dream. What do you hope to achieve with this little trick? Huh? Come, Traveler. Just like before. Allow me to awaken the memories in your dreams. <gasps> All that battle experience! It's more than that. <laughs> Compile everyone's wisdom in the name of the Archon. That is the original function of the Akasha. I've sent Whoa. everything that happened just now to the people of Sumeru in the form of knowledge. I've asked them to help you find a way to defeat the false god. That's the goddess of knowledge for you. <laughs> Just like a Dragon Ball episode. <laughs> I'm all in for this. All he knows need is to lift her hands up in the air. Tricks won't save you. Are you done with your tricks? Can I finally take this as a real battle between gods? Nope. I'll leave this to you. <laughs> the first sage. A boar. Wow. One of the greatest way of dealing with a bully, denying them of their wishes. But also like, the traveler is still out there defeating the biggest baddies with a default weapon. Commendable. That's all I'm saying. And this is our last one, the character demo of Layla. Oh. Even when we're not looking up at the stars, they're Sleepy. always there. Oh, watching over us. <laughs> oh my god, come on. Are you serious? <laughs> Go to bed.
Huh? What are you doing up? Me? Sleepwalking, of course. <laughs> well, isn't it obvious? Mihoyo continuing the tradition of making at least a character that is very true to my heart, a narcoleptic. Yes, I, I am actually narcoleptic for those of you who don't know. <laughs> represent but anyways guys thank you so much for checking out this video as always if you liked it don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you want to see some more that said though we should have a wonderful day see you all in the next video bye